Hey guys, it's Sim. I'm here today with a flip through of my A6. Um, what is this? <laughs> Vanderspeck um, Barbie Napa in A6 rings. Did I already say A6 rings? <laughs> Probably did. All right, so this is what it looks like from the top. I don't have very many clips and things up here because I don't know, I don't love that um, because they all end up falling out in my purse and stuff like that. And not much on the bottom except these that I made myself. Um, and I will show them closer in a second. Um, the reason I'm doing this flip now, by the way, hold on. <laughs> by the way, this um, planner looks way more orange and salmon-y, I think, in, on camera than it does in real life for some reason. I'm not sure why, um, but if you guys go on the, um, go on their, uh, Vanderspeck's um, Instagram. I'm sure you could see pictures of the Barbie Napa leather. I've already, you know, loved mine so much for the past few months that it has stains and things, and I'm okay with that because I literally take this with me everywhere. Um, and the reason I'm doing the flip today is because um, I'm going to be switching into either uh, an Asics. Foxy, the new ones with the snap closures, or an Aura Estelle. Um, so I just decided I wanted to do a flip of this so that I can um, move into my other one. I have some additional vellum acetate inserts and everything that I have ready all in a box to go into my new one. Um, and I'm keeping most of this. So I don't know how that's going to be possible because <laughs> uh, realistically speaking, they will probably not all fit, and I know that the Aura Estelle still has um, 25 millimeter rings as opposed to 30. So, I mean, I can only fit so much in it. However, it does have the two um, elastic, like TN, the hybrid uh, TN elastics in the front and the back. So, we'll see what I can do with that. But anyway, on to this little guy. I have not named him. I don't know how this happened since all of my other planners have names. Um, he slash she does not, uh, but anywho. <laughs> so as I said, this is a Barbie Napa in A6 rings from Vanderspeck. Um, let me see. Okay, let's do these. I have some, um, I have this amethyst one bookmark that I made and then a quartz one that I made and here's a little charm with uh, baby's breath inside which I also made and I'm trying to open my shop so that I can sell some of these um, and foil stickers as well hopefully and I don't know if I'm going to sell any of my old stickers but we shall see. Anywho <laughs> Okay, so here it is. It is very chunky, um, and that does get unbearable sometimes, but I still love it. Um, so let's go ahead and start from the pockets right here. Some of these are functional, some of them decorative. Um, I'll try not to talk so much, so <laughs> we'll see how that works. Okay, so this sparkly bow right here is from a shop called Buzzy Bee a Bebe. It's um, on Etsy, I think. Did I say that already? I'm already getting awkward, you guys. Um, and then, let's see. So then this one right here, the Tattooed Babe, is from the Honey Bee Shop. Eh. Let's see. I can't even see what's here, you guys. Let me just take everything out so that I can put them back in. There's something else over here. Oh, okay. These are just little um, reinforcement thingies in case something rips or something like that. I just put them in there. Um, this is the uh, little flea and heartworm protection uh, stickers that go in my calendar whenever um, I put that on my kitty. Um, let's see what else is, oh, okay, here's a <laughs> wand with a bow on it from, this was a digital from Moon Babe Inquiry, I just laminated it, uh, that goes in there, and then this came with an order from Simply Me Kish, um, I just love it a lot, so it stays back here, and then hopefully I can put most of these things into my new planner, 
here, let me move this so you guys can see. Okay, and then this, um, the tattooed, I think, New Year, babe, is from the Honey Bee Shop. Um, I don't know why I got the one with the, I usually get the one with medium skin tone, but, and I think this is that, but I usually, like, sometimes from her shop, I'll get the light skinned or this one, so I got this one, but anywho, um, and I guess, like, the tattooed babe, I got the light skin one. So, um, this, it's kind of an oops sampler. It's, I believe this is the first ever or the second sampler that I ever made for my shop, um, when it opened back in like 2016 or something, 2017. I don't know. Anyway, so that I just keep in there. Um, and then here is a little, a couple of notes from the wonton in a million, um, set that comes that is sold at Michael's and then let's see this actually can go to the side because today is May 6th I think when I'm filming this and this was my April um, calendar that came with a happy day order 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 see how orange this planner looks it's so weird to me because this is clearly pink like to me. So anyway, I don't know. So let's, okay. So this was the, I just printed out the post of the daily Fox. Um, so I could see which ones I could do, but obviously this is April as well. So that's done. Um, and most of those I didn't do. <laughs> this is just a little, uh, journaling card from, um, the happy planner. And then the back, I just stuck another one to it that says breathe in and breathe out. Um, there's that. This is a feeling wheel. Uh, we use this a lot in dialectical behavior therapy. Um, yeah, that's just it. <laughs> I'm a therapist and I feel like it helps like to carry this around. Um, I know I can't. I uh, probably can't reproduce it because of copyright reasons, but because it's for personal use, I just keep it in here. Um, and then let me see. Okay. So this is a pouch from Moon Babe Inquiry. And I just keep, what do I keep in here? Oh goodness. Here we go. Okay. So there's like a Moon Babe Inquiry, a Sweet Bean Plans, um, Haley's Handmade Code die cuts, um, some Jen's Crafty Design text stickers, uh, inspire of rafter. Hey, there's that sheet I was looking for. <laughs> I was looking for the sheet from Grumpy Bear because um, I just put in an order yesterday and I wanted that sheet and I'm like, nah, I'm pretty sure I have something like that. So that was that. And then let me go ahead and put these guys back in here. And then I have this. Eh. Um, I have this doily print paper back here, as does everyone else and their mother and their dog, um, just as, you know, decorative, um, as a decorative background. Uh, and then this one is a pouch, like a sticker pouch I made out of vellum, and I just put some um, text stickers on it. And I guess what I keep in here are some little samplers. Um, I guess more than samplers, geez, there's some, um, studying ones from Once More With Love, some Toffee Bananas, some, um, Kaylee's Papery, which is, I think, now called something else. Um, but that's that, and those I keep in here. I actually recently made another pouch, um, that I will put in my other planner. I'm putting it in the wrong pocket. Okay, there we go. So that was this part, we're going to go ahead and move on over here. The first thing over here is, um, well, okay, there's this paper clip from, where is it from? Tuesday morning. Uh, and I just put that to put like the vellum and the acetate together. I just made this um, Lumos vinyl on holographic uh, vinyl, I guess, um, and put it onto clear acetate, and then I put it over. Um, these hearts are hand drawn by me. I just drew it on my iPad, um, sent it over to Silhouette, made a paper out of it, and printed on vellum. 
And then this is a die cut from Happy Daya Stickers. I'm going to put my kitty cat back on here that holds these together. And so that's just the cover of the whole thing. Oh, I need to link this artist down below. Um, I knew I would forget for this um, here. You can't even see it because it's so shiny because it's laminated. Um, this is an art print that I bought off of Etsy. I will put her name down below, his or her name down below. This is Bag End in the Shire from The Lord of the Rings, and I love it so much. Um, and I just wanted to put it in my planner. So there it is. Um, and then it has the sign on there that says no admittance um, except on party business. Ah, sorry about the glare, you guys. It's seriously worth seeing. But you can go on her Etsy shop and see it as well. Or his, their Etsy shop. <laughs> I don't know. I forget if the artist is a guy or a girl. Um, this is a die cut from the Fox and Pip. Um, this is a little quote. Um, this dreamer vellum, I just wrote it um, again myself and put it onto silhouette and made a vellum out of it. Um, this is myself and my fiance. Um, I just like that picture, so I printed it off on that. Um, what's the little HP sprocket thing? And put it in there. Um, this is a month, not a month, a year at a glance by, I don't know who, is it Peanuts Planner Co? I'm not sure. Uh, it may be Annie Plans, it may be Peanuts Planner, Peanut Planner, Peanuts Planner Co. Oh, this is going to be a long video. <laughs> I'm not sure which one that's from. Uh, here's a little post-it note from Once More With Love. And then this is a fold out. I still haven't like done anything really with this because I don't, I use it more for reference than I do for anything else. Um, so the fold out is from Peanuts Planner Co. with all of the months. All right, you guys, I almost knocked over my camera. <laughs> so I'm gonna try this again. This is a, like a tri-fold, um, I don't know if it was a freebie or what from Marcia Bramucci and the back is just blank and I held it together with this clip which is from, uh, it came in a bundle of some sort. It might have been with the Black Friday bundle with Grumpy Bear stickers from somewhere. Um, I don't know. Gosh, I forget. Okay. And then this is also an art print from a photography print uh, of, the, of Buddha. Um, from Etsy. I will put it down below. Um, I just have to go through my Etsy purchases like way back in the day and look for it, but I just laminated it and put a sparkly S for my name, Sim, um, from, gosh, I don't remember, like Hobby Lobby or Michaels or something like that, just some craft store. Um, and then, gosh, okay, so I the reason I put a picture of myself in my planner is just because kind of like fitness goals and stuff like that. I just like how um, I used to like dressing up and things like that uh, once upon a time. But uh, usually when I feel uncomfortable with my weight, I'll dress in all black uh, or just wear leggings and a baggy shirt. So this is kind of a reminder that I can be comfortable in what I wear, etc., etc. <laughs> Let's not go there. Okay, this is a life lessons to make habits insert from EO Edits. Um, it just talks about health, relationships, and stuff like that. Um, personal, soul, career, hobbies, productivity, organization, um, money, and tips to add. Um, and then this is the planner purge insert, which I still haven't done. <laughs> Let's see. Um, and then on the back, there's a quote. Um, the nope vellum is from Maker Doer Mama, I think. Um, okay, so these, um, what are they called? I'm going to stop saying um, hopefully. <laughs> Uh, these dividers are very thin and like this quote wasn't on here. So it's just a divider that's like semi-transparent. Um, mm, not really. I guess you can't really see the back, but uh, I guess you can. <laughs> um, from May Paper Co. Um, and sh they have like different colors, Chilean pink, salmon pink, 
Um, I believe this is Chilean pink, um, and I don't know. I was seeing if they had the A6s back in stock, but um, anyway, I got this a while ago. So that's what I have throughout. Like, I have them here as well as on top. Uh, but you guys, I'm very like relaxed with <laughs> um like inserts and dividers and tabs and stuff like that I'll mix and match I don't care if they all match I don't care if they go perfectly or line up perfectly or anything like that so anywho having said that this is the first divider of its kind um and then I just put a rose gold quote uh foiled quote from the uh happy planner sticker books um this part is my monthly and then um, on here, I just had upcoming events like trainings that were happening. This is a, gosh, what was this from? Is it, uh, it was like that uh, collab that like Once More With Love, Frank Hearts You and Willa Walla Co. did together like two years ago. Um, so it's from that sticky note. Um, this is February. I just did uh, pen and paper, not much going on. I had some washi strips here, um, March, and then um, that's not April. So what I did was, okay, as you guys can see, I was using the Peanuts Planner Co. inserts and writing um, the dates by hand, and I got sick of doing that because I just got too much going on. So... <laughs> I was like, okay, that's one extra step I have to do. So what I did is I went back and I went to uh, SM Plans and got the dated inserts for the year. And this is much more comfortable because I don't have to write in the dates anymore. Um, so this is just April. Um, and then I have May right here. Um, and I still haven't filled May out. And I still haven't put my like June and July in here completely. Um, the next part is lists. I once again just decorated it with rose gold, um, like star and flowers from the Happy Planner sticker books. <laughs> this is my wish list and some of the things I've obviously um, was able to get, which I'm happy about. Um, and this, because it was a transfer from my old ASICs, I just stuck it in here before the list insert. Um, and then those are my <laughs> recent orders. Actually, those are not the most recent. That's an old one. I just haven't taken it out. Um, this bow uh, list insert is from Annie Plans Printables. Um, I just put this little guy on here who's wrapped up um, on a very in a very long list um, from Adorkable Studios. Um, and then I just put letters down here for the list. And then these are my, what are these, sticker wish list, uh, waiting for orders, and I, I got all of these in the mail. Those are pretty old. These are my to prints. I have some uh, Instagram post ideas with a little Instagram sticker from my shop. And then I have this um, foiled YouTube thingy with video ideas. Um, and then this was for the planner friends sale and just waiting for so basically mostly orders but here's what the blank insert looks like it just has bows on here um let's see do i have anything else on here i don't think so okay yeah so that's those inserts um and then this right here <laughs> voldy would be voldemort um, this stick figure Voldemort was just like a doodle that I did on my iPad and I decided because it was funny and it made me smile, I put it onto my silhouette again and created a vellum out of it. Um, so yeah, his nickname is Voldy and he's just, you know, wreaking havoc on the world. Um, and then right here I have a Deathly Hallow symbol that I cut out of holographic vellum and stuck onto the... Um, next divider, which is the must do. And the reason this says must do is because um, it, it just, I have to remember to do my tracker and that's why it says must do. I had to remove some because this is so chunky. I constantly have to remove inserts. Um, so that's what happened here. This is the rest of one of the inserts. Um, this was March. I did pretty good the first um, half of the month and then kind of fell off. Um, and then April, 
sorry guys, I was looking to see what my kitty is doing. Um, April, I did like five, six days and then that didn't work. So May, I'm determined. However, <laughs> today's the sixth. And as you can see, the only one I did is the first day. But I use my Stalogy to note all of these things, like just jot them down as I go along in the day, like when I'm at work, when I can't whip this out. Because if I whip this out at work, it usually starts conversations and I'll forget what I was going to write. So <laughs> they're like, what is that? And I have to explain it to people, you guys. Does that happen with you, um, with your planner? Because people just don't get it. <laughs> like Normal people just don't get it. Anyway, um, so hopefully I can go ahead and complete this month um, of the tracker. And then <laughs> this was supposed to be my March no spend. I will take this out of here. I just thought it would be funny to share with you guys because it just, that didn't happen. Um, and this is one of those like target, uh, dollar spot stickies, um, that I still have. And then I have this from peanuts planner co that I track my weight on, which once again, didn't happen. I will put in a clean insert for that for May. Um, and then these are my uh, Peanuts Planner Co. tracker insert checklists. Um, I have the pink for the A6. And then um, I messed up because I thought that was a different one. So I put white out on it. Um, and then this is for the pocket and the personal wide. Um, this is from... This is from Fox and Pip. I just have it laminated and put it onto this vellum, which I made from, which I made with clip art from. I forget, and I will put it down below. It's one of the, it's like a well-known um, clip art maker, digital designer. I'm not sure who it is. Um, and then this insert is, it's not labeled. Um, I just put a, I just cut a um, sparkly bow, put it on there and put a bunch of stickers um, and a quote. Well, the quote goes with the wreath. So I guess that's from the Happy Planner. This little vellum is from Planner Monkey Co. And uh, this section, I think it's my dailies. Yeah, so these are my dailies. Um, but this basically is what I do in my basic stalogy. Um, like when I said I just doodle stuff down. Um, so I don't know. That's just sort of a brain dump. Um, because I feel like this is so chunky, I can't have dailies in here with like stickers decorating it. It just doesn't make sense. Um, so I'll show you guys ahead. I made a weekly one. So we'll see if that works, but I just keep these to note things down anyway. And then, um, Oh, did I do the bad words disclaimer on this video? I probably didn't. So there might be bad words. <laughs> Watch out. Um, <laughs> Sorry, uh, I probably won't say it, but that's a vellum that, again, in my handwriting, I just wrote it, turned it into a digital paper, and printed it on vellum. Um, I also made foiled stickers out of those, which I really love. Um, this little coffee cup um, outline, can you guys hear my cat going to the bathroom? <laughs> um, this coffee cup is from Planner Monkey Co. Um, this uh, paper clip of the standing stones um, are is from my shop that's not opened yet slash not open at all <laughs> um, but it will be on there uh, along with like I have a long bookmark that has the standing stones on it so anyway I really like that and then there's a clear pocket right here with a bunch of stuff on it and it's actually on some planner society vellum um, and yeah, this is just, I don't even want to take those out. I don't even know what's in there. Um, that's from my shop. This is my little puffy, um, that is stationary heaven co I think. Anyway, so that is that. Okay. Again, <laughs> gosh, I should have taken this out, but that, and I posted that before, so I don't care. This is a really old picture of me. Um, I don't look like that, uh, in, 
you know, in everyday life. This is when we were going to some wedding or something with my best friend. Um, this little heart is from Michael's, uh, I'm sure you already know it if you're part of the planner community. Um, it's from, um, the Valentine's day, um, what do you call it? Valentine's Day something or other at Michael's. Um, this is my mom and my cat. Um, we share custody of the cat, so I won't say so much about that. What? What is it? Okay, he's decided he's not going to say anything else. So that is him, the little troublemaker. Um, and that's my mama. And I just really love this picture. Um, so it's in my planner. And then this vellum is from Frank Hart's You. It's from a really long time ago. Um, and then what I have here is I actually use these photo um, slips from mm, like the craft store. And I will punch holes in them and just put, literally use it as like sticker sheet pockets. Um, and I really like these because you can put notes in there, you can put anything you want. Um, so there's some Toffee Banana stickers and some uh, Whimsical Cat, and here's some a GP Sticker Studio, what do you call it, sampler. And then I made this paw print out of um, sparkly holographic vellum and put it on here. This right here is from, it's a postcard from a Melancholy Moose. Once again, sorry about the glare. These like self-seal laminating sheets are so, um, what do you call it, shiny? Um, anyway, this is Snape's uh, classroom um, with a quote by Snape. I could teach you to bewitch the mind and ensnare the senses. <laughs> I can't say it quite as mysteriously as he does, but that is that. And then, did I say a melancholy moose? I'll put everything down below anyway. So that is empty because I, these are pretty new, so I haven't put anything else really on here. This I added onto this planner, but I will put die cuts and stuff when I move it into the other planner. Um, these sheets are from Michael's, from like a paper pad that was a seasonal on an end cap, um, and it was on sale recently. Yes? Did you need something? Okay, <laughs> so, oh, this is making the camera go all different weird colors. There's me, hi. Okay, so, eh. all right, guys, I can't get it together because the glare is serious. Okay, so this is a <laughs> lotus, a uh, holographic lotus flower uh, from, uh, let me go take care of him, I'll be right back. All right, guys, he might meow again because he just wants food. So I'm <laughs> going to get through this part here. Let me put this underneath. So this lotus is from, I think, Bramble and Thorn is the name of the store on Etsy that I got it from. And I just um, actually made, like, meditation stickers uh, out of rose gold foil and put that into the, the lotus. Um, and then right here is another divider. This one says inbox, although I don't know how much of an inbox it really is when like the entirety of my planner is an inbox. <laughs> so let me go ahead and put that over there. This, um, girl postcard is from, or journaling card is from Planner Press. I just really like it. And I don't like the backs to be like super um, white and blank. So there's a Once More With Love sticky, um, a Grumpy Bear Studio sticky, and a Planner Press sticky note. Um, this Mild Liner um, hand-drawn vellum. Well, it's it was a digital file from Simply Meekish, and I just printed it on... Vellum. I really love this. I think there's one more in here somewhere. Um, and then this is just an Instagram post that I was planning to put. So there's the wonton in a million uh, little sheet. This right here is like a brain dump uh, inspiration thing from uh, Vienna Ortiz Plans. Is that it? Yeah, ViennaOrtizPlans.com. And it was a freebie, I believe. Um, 
So it's like a trigger list for a brain dump. So that's why I put that in my inbox section, just in case I need to look at that and be able to put some things down here. This little bookmark guy um, has been in my planner before. He is from 15 Prill. I really love him. Um, and then this is, so these inserts are from Peanuts Planner Co. And they're like my inbox inserts, which aren't even filled. So this post-it was from a session when a patient told me uh, to listen to the Lauren Daigle songs. Um, and then what uh, I did here is a little hand of Fatima or Hamza hand uh, charm that I made and put in here just for the heck of it. <laughs> And then this right here, I don't know. Oh, okay. So I have that marked. This is like an Avery tab. They have these cute polka dot ones now. Um, so I separated this from this one just in case I needed to put like smaller lists. And this is actually the mail to send insert. It usually says mail to send here from Peanuts Planner Co. Um, but I liked it as just this. <laughs> like you could write, I don't know, groceries right here, um, posts right here, work stuff here. Like you could make all different kinds of lists for it being an inbox. I just thought that was cool. Um, let's see. This part right here is one of my favorite uh, die cuts. This is the planner cart. Um, it was like for Halloween from uh, Happy Day uh, stickers. Um, and I just love that kitty looks like my kitty, who, by the way, gave up on food and went and laid over there on his couch. <laughs> and then um, the acetate that's on the back of that is so beautiful. And I have more of this set going into my new planner setup. Um, it is the Hogwarts, like the Akio Pink uh, collection from Scribble Prints Co., so that is that. And then the, oops, the next thing that I have, what is that? Oh, there you can see the Hogwarts crest better right there on white paper. And then I just did this bow myself and put it onto vellum on which I printed like an affirmation. It's really cool. It just says, I think I just got it off of, um, Pinterest or something. It says, today I opened my eyes to a brilliant new day of light and love. I focus on my highest good in everything I do. I will maintain peace and harmony within my inner being and not allow outside circumstances to disturb my happiness. I honor my sacred life and I am grateful for all that I have. Yeah, so that's, um, that's pretty deep. Uh, but this part, like the allowing outside circumstances to disturb my happiness, I know that's very difficult to do. Um, and it's, it's something that ebbs and flows. So yeah, that's why I need it in there. Um, this right here, the little skeleton Starbucks, uh, vinyl is from Moon Babe Inquiry, I believe. Uh, I got it with my last order. And then this is just an acetate uh, with gold foil from Michaels. Um, and then here's another divider that doesn't have a label on it. It's just there. Um, I think this is notes. I'm not sure. I think so. Um, and then this, a grateful heart is a magnet for miracles is from the happy planner. Uh, what do you call it? The sticker books. And then, yeah, so this part is for notes, but it's basically a hodgepodge of all different note papers, I think. And this is, I'll show you this in a minute. Um, this is the Once More With Love uh, collab with Annie Plans Printables. Just really cute munchkins. Um, let me see. Is that all there is? Yeah, so this is just that. And I put that recently in there. Um, this right here is one of my favorite uh, bookmarks or um, page markers, I guess, that I made using um, this tab that says hello from Planner Society, this little glittery um, unicorn float from, uh, again, Planner Society, my name uh, in silver foil from 472 in Maine, uh, this Deathly Hallows rose gold clip from um, Creativity and Ink, uh, and then I just put vellum 
uh, around here and made it into a pocket. Um, so there's like wood grain print back here and then pink wood grain back there. Um, I have some stuff from Jen's Crafty Designs, More Avenue and um, Planner Monkey Co. I think on this side. And then I have uh, some more Planner Monkey Co., Fox and Pip, Fox and Cactus, and Create with Pen. And then I just have this giant um, Coffee Monsters Co. emoji from a really long time ago. Um, so what I'm going to do is put that over here. And let's move on to this pocket right here that is, oh, it's not, see, I feel like the chandelier up there is not allowing anything to pick up as beautiful as they really are because it's so bright. Um, anyway, this is a pocket from uh, Cat's Presso Co. And it actually opens up like that. And I've seen people use this as um, a shaker pocket, which is a really cool idea. I just stuck some stickers in there from Moon Babe Inquiry. There's the Thestrals and then some Toffee Banana samplers. Um, and then here's another Toffee Banana sampler. And it's just clear with holographic. Um, and then let's see, what is this? Oh, yeah. Okay. <laughs> so this is... Um, the layout I kind of wanted to try, like Hobonichi style, I will not, and I will not get a Hobonichi and don't have a Hobonichi um, because I can't fit this much crap into a Hobonichi. There's no way. So anyway, so I was <laughs> thinking I could try one in my A6 that, you know, I could try an insert that looks kind of like that. So I tried this, but as you can see, it didn't really, I, I didn't do any other ones. Um, so I don't know. I might go back to trying that because I got a bunch of, um, what do you call it? Uh, Hobonichi sticker kits actually to use in my dailies just because I love how they're so foiled and beautiful and stuff like that. And then this is a little, um, page marker thing, uh, post-it note holder from Ashley Lee Designs with some planner press, um, sticky notes on it. And I just have that on here for who knows what reason. Um, and then let's see. Yeah, so this keeps going. I guess I got like May through July or something like that. Um, so I don't know what we're gonna do with those. Um, oh, I guess it's April through June. Um, and then here is a Bubble Mon Stickers Co. Vellum uh, that I ripped by accident when I was trying to <laughs> when I was trying to open up my planner like this, like I put weight on it and just pulled the pages apart so that the rings would come apart. I know I'm not supposed to do that. Please don't judge me. Um, so anyway, from now on, I've been doing the clicky thing on the side that I'm supposed to do. Um, so that got ripped. I might just put tape on the side and rescue that for my next planner. Uh, once again, all you can see is my freaking chandelier, but this is um, acetate. Um, that um, I just put clear acetate on here and cut my name out of like a, it, obviously my name is not Simshine, but I do use Simshine as a nickname um, for a lot of things. I don't know. It's just, that's so weird. I actually don't know why I use Simshine as a, like sunshine, but Simshine. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> that's that. Um, and then the picture on the back is me kissing a donkey. I just really love this picture. I love animals in general. So that's just a sort of a hats off to that, to them, I guess. Um, and then this is a sticky note from the honeybee shop with a sticker that I made of a sports bra. And this is from the happy planner sticker books. Um, it says work out because you love your body. And then I just put a little quote sticker on a once more with love um, sticky that says you are capable of amazing things. Um, this vellum right here is from, it's a digital that I printed onto vellum from Plan the Day. Um, her doggy was, uh, getting some treatment from the vet and he was going through some stuff. So, uh, she had the sale, uh, so that the proceeds would go to, um, his vet, um, what do you call it? Fees and stuff like that. So I got that from plan the day. And also I got another, um, thing that I will put in my next planner setup. Anyway, it's obviously friends. 
Um, and then the next part is these inserts are the weeklies from Lights Planner Action. Um, these squirrel sticky notes are from Create with Pen. Um, this um, clip with the holographic and sort of like tan bad word <laughs> is from Confetti Baby. And so what I did over here, I, I liked more than the other one, I think. I just love having the decorative stuff to carry around with me. Um, and I know Nikki Plant said that before too, that she just likes something. She just likes to have something pretty to look at. Um, by the way, I'm having major issues with everyone being at Go Wild. And <laughs> anyway, let's not go there. So this is the weekly inserts that I've been using um, for the past, I guess, two weeks. Um, and there's a plan with me on my uh, YouTube channel of this spread. Um, but anyway, yeah, I've been enjoying this more. And then I have to obviously, I guess, fill out these and start a new week. Um, and then what I, I, I'll probably keep doing this because I actually enjoy filling this out. It reminds me more of the Erin Condren, but obviously not as involved and, and chunky. <laughs> um, although I still love my Erin Condren, don't get me wrong. This is a clear piece of acetate with a Macy from Planner Monkey Co. Uh, holographic vinyl. And then another one of this Simply Me Kish, um, digital paper that I printed out on vellum, which there's a similar one to this with like mild liners on a uh, Happy Scrappies thing, um, Happy Scrappies digitals, and I really want that one. Um, it might be in my cart, but I don't know. I, I don't know if I want to get the whole thing. <laughs> anyway, this is a little folder that I made, I mean, it was a folder for the mini happy planner. I just cut the side um, and punched holes in it so that it would be an A6 size. Um, there's some stuff from Jameson Reed Designs back there. And then these are the um, ones I made. This was like my first foiling attempt ever. Um, they're on pink sheets and this is the effing F and the Deathly Hallows. And then this is the um, wizard quotes. Um, that I had in my shop previously. So I just um, did those in rose gold. Um, this little lotus charm with a paper clip I just made and put in here. Um, and then right here are my um, mental health uh, stickers from Pumpkin Paper Co. And then my mini kettlebells and mini bras, sports bras from that I made for myself, I think. Like, they used to be in my shop, but I don't think the mini size was. Um, and then this is a star that I put on acetate, just made it myself, stuck it on acetate. This is a little Thestral from, I think it was a kit. It was the Luna kit from Wild Summer Designs. Um, I just liked him so much that I put him there looking at the star. <laughs> So that's that. Um, and then this little fanny pack over here is um, from Moon Babe Inquiry. Uh, and then inside of it, I just have, I can't take that out, the Grumpy Bear Studios uh, Tumblr and little die cut. And then a Sweet Bean, bling, bean, blah, blah, sweet bean Plans. Uh, sweet Bean Plans freebie. You guys, I'm planning on filming a haul video after this. <laughs> Imagine how that's going to be. Um, if I can't even talk in this one. So anywho, <laughs> this is another divider this time, like the ones uh, from May Paper Co., but with top dividers. And only the, the second one, I think, has writing on it. Um, let me see. Yeah, that one says inspo. Um, anyway, this is from Joann's, um, Joann Fabrics. It's just a little sticker that says me, weird. Always. <laughs> and then these inserts are from a collab between Annie Plans Printables and Happy Day of Stickers. Um, and then this lady is from the Honeybee Shop. I just really liked her. Um, and the print quality on that, like the colors are amazing. So I just put her on here. Um, and then these inserts, I still don't know what I'm doing with these. Like, I don't know exactly what to put in there. And what I decided was maybe sort of a reference thing. Like that's my fiance's pant size from Target. So I know like what to get. And then this is the insert sizes. And then I was thinking, um, 
like how to do how to transform like pocket inserts into A6 like at what percentage do you have to enlarge it and stuff like that maybe I could put those in there ah, all right almost to the end you guys <laughs> if you've bared with me until like right now I'm you know, I, I am so thankful. Okay. So this is just clear acetate once again. And I just put a target dollar spot, um, actually two target dollar spot, um, sticky pockets, one in the back, one in the front. Um, here's a happy day, a sampler, a happy day, a meditation girl. Um, and then these Instagram thingies that I made from my shop, I just keep in there. And then the YouTube ones also, um, and then this is a clear planner die cut. It's really cute from um, Bubble Mon stickers. Um, this, I believe, <sighs> this vellum was from a digital from, I think, Purpose Papery. Um, it says, let's stay home. The next part, this says inspo. So I still haven't transferred. This is like in another section of another planner that I still haven't transferred on here. So um, it's still relatively empty. Um, this is from a Michaels um, sticker book. Um, <laughs> it's like this super zen fox that says, look at all the fox I give. Um, and then the cover page is, uh, I guess with the rest of the inserts is list inserts from Annie Plans Principles. And basically, I saw somebody else do this. Was it Nikki? I think it might've been Nikki. Um, I want to put all my affirmations and just good quotes and good vibes on here. Um, and this one says, I'm getting stronger every day, which I think is true. Um, I mean, workout wise, maybe human wise too. <laughs> That makes any sense. Um, this is a digital from, I think it might be MJ Plans, MJ and Hope. I'm not sure. I will link it down below or write it down below. It says, I've got a good heart, but this mouth. Um, and then this is another uh, dashboard from, pocket dashboard from uh, Cat's Presso Co., um, the kitty stickers I have on here are Makita and Dahlia. They are the kitty cats of Chicago Black Cat on Instagram. They're amazing. I have no words for them. I watch them every day. Um, I just love them. So <laughs> go follow them if you like kitty cats. And then uh, this right here inside of the Cat's Presso dashboard is the um, Once More With Love and Scribble Prints Co. collab from the Accio Pink collection. And then this says, F it, I'm going to Hogwarts back here. This sticker, I love it, is from Moore Avenue. And then uh, back here I have, uh, this is Connor McGregor from the UFC. And obviously they made a sticker. It's kind of like KFC, but it says UFC. Um, so that's that. Um, I actually had one of another fighter uh, that was in my planner, but it looked a little bit too red. So I wanted to take the the back of it out so the sticker came out with it. So I have to find something to do with that. These Lotus inserts, I believe, are from Lights Planner Action. Um, they're just list inserts. Once again, I, I don't know what really to put on there. Um, this is that effing F. Vellum, and then the next part is actually like my goals inserts, and I don't have very many, um, very many pages of these because I don't know if I want to use them that way still. Um, I'm just trying them out, so I'm just putting like a goal, like income goals, um, YouTube followers, Instagram, shop income, stuff like that. Um, so I'm putting them down there, and these are from Annie Plans Principles as well. Um, this little guy is from Mama Jean Plans, I believe. It was a um, digital that I printed onto vellum. It's like the black gummy bear. I just love that. I don't know why. Um, this guy is from Sparkly Paper Co. It's really old. It was a like the one of the large stickers that come in there, like two two set stickers. Uh, this is from the acetate is from like Michaels or Joanne or something like that. Pretty sure it's Michaels. Um, and this one, 
Um, this part is because it's like my codes, my coupon codes and stuff. I just put this, um, die cut from, this is from a really long time ago. This is, uh, Oh, hello, Michelle. Um, and then these inserts are from Annie Plans Printables once again, and they look, <laughs> my tattoos, tattoo ideas, newer tattoo ideas. Um, I want to add that to my half, half sleeve, but <laughs> we'll see. Not yet. Um, so there's like the two, uh, section lists on here. I really like that. I don't know what my initial idea for these was, but I used a page and took it out of my planner. So... I have no idea. I'll eventually get back to it. So the part where it says codes, you guys, is like jam-packed. Um, and those are basically all codes that you can find from like PR girls and stuff like that. Um, that you just, if you go on to like someone's Instagram or basically whenever I see um, someone will post like a PR post and put their code on the bottom. I will go ahead and take this out and write it on here. If I don't have this handy, then I will write it on like a sticky note and then transfer it on here because it really, really comes in handy. Um, this is from Peanuts Planner Co. And then that's the last section of my planner. Oh my goodness. Okay. So, and then I have this Foxy Fix, um, page lifter and then at the very back I have a little card that uh, one of my colleagues gave to me um and then sorry I got distracted um and then I have a picture with my love right here um that's a pretty old picture when he was little um and then this is a shaker pocket picture here <laughs> shaker pocket picture I'm trying to make the little things go down but that is myself and my fiance um so I carried those two in here and those are probably going to be transferred into a new planner um when I do the new planner this is just a washi card that I made um with some lace uh and a like a tag um and then I don't know where some of these are from. Once more with love, once more with love. And then these might be, that might be simply gilded um, from a very long time ago. But anyway, that is that. I then keep a, hold a um, magic card here. This is the Sanctuary Cat. Um, my brother plays magic and um, I just, I don't know. I'm like emotionally attached to them. Although I still don't know how to play it. I don't know if I ever will learn. Um, kudos to you if you know how to play magic or dungeons or dun dungeons and dragons or and stuff like that. Um, this little bookmark is uh, oh I did it two sided. Okay, so yeah, I remember doing that. I mirrored it and then laminated it, like um, stuck it together. <laughs> but it's from the shop's name. I don't really want to butcher. It's like Lasni Crea Shop or something. It's like L A. Z N Y E C R E A shop. Um, and she is currently switching from Etsy to Shopify. So I think her shop may be closed. Um, but she is opening soon. If you want to follow her, I'll put her down below. Um, and then just this pen right here with little crescent moons inside. This was from like Staples or something like that. Um, so yeah, I just keep that in here, but normally I use my V7, uh, to write in my planner. Anywho, <laughs> I talked way too much. Okay. I don't know how long that video was, but thank you guys if you lasted this long and I'm sorry I keep shaking the table. Um, I'm probably sorry for a lot of things in this video, but, um, yeah, I'm just going to try to be okay with the fact that. I am flawed and hopefully you can be okay with that too. Um, and like I had said, my, my uh, camera cut me off. He's like, that's enough. That's enough of talking for you. Um, so it barely clips. But uh, this is my ASICS rings from VDS Shops. VDS Shop, it is the Barbie Napa. Um, and yeah, it's chunky. Oh, yes. Um, and what I'm going to do, I think after I film my latest haul video after this, 
I think, I don't know if I want to do that yet, but um, after I film my haul video, I will go ahead and dismantle, if I have time tonight, I will dismantle this whole thing and move into my new planner and hopefully I can use that for a few weeks and then give you guys a peek into that one as well. So thank you so much for watching. Uh, if you're not subscribed, go ahead and subscribe, follow me on Instagram, and hopefully I shall have every shop that was mentioned in here. Um, maybe not linked, but mentioned down below in the uh, description box. Thank you guys so much. Have a great day, night, wherever you are, whatever you're doing. Bye.